How are your online reviews? If you're a local business and you're only focusing on collecting online reviews on the almighty Google, then this episode is for you. On this episode, we're going to talk about different places where you should be focusing your efforts to collect online reviews. Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Darcy Sullivan with Propel Marketing and Design. Does your company have a plan in place to collect reviews? Are you only trying to collect reviews on Google or are you trying to collect reviews on other sites? Today, we're going to chat about the importance of online reviews, where you should focus your efforts to collect those online reviews. So first up, I think most people understand the importance and the power that is behind online reviews. They really do reflect people's decisions on if they should come in to see you if you're a clinic owner or if they should do business with you if you're a small business. And the data behind this really is so compelling. Let's look at some statistics. The statistics that I'm going to share are from explodingtopics.com, and they are for 2023. I'll include the link to this in the show notes for your reference. 93% of users say online reviews have an impact on their buying decisions. Nearly half of all internet users host online reviews every month. 81% of consumers use Google to evaluate local business. Yelp receives 26,830 new reviews per minute. Hold on, I'm just going to repeat that crazy number again. Currently, Yelp receives over 26,000 new reviews per minute. That is just crazy. 75% of businesses do not respond to negative reviews. If you've listened to one of our previous episodes, which we'll include in the show notes again, where we went into detail about how to optimize your Google business profile listing, we've also done a show and have additional resources on your Apple Maps listing, your Bing business listing, all of these talk about how to optimize your listings, but also how to handle those reviews. If you do receive a negative review, you do want to make sure that you take the time and energy to look into the review, see what happened, why it was negative, Reply if it's appropriate or report if it's inappropriate. Now, there are a ton of online review platforms out there. And we're going to talk about some of the bigger ones here. But in the beginning, I gave that little teaser of I hope you're not just collecting your online reviews on Google. And we're going to go into where the other locations are that you should consider, including collecting reviews. Now, the big ones collectively are for review sites, Google, Yelp, Facebook, TripAdvisor. And of course, Google is the clear winner. I mean, Bright Local has the statistic of 81% of customers use Google to evaluate a local business. I think we all can agree that Google really is the big and mighty here, but this is really what I want you to take in and understand, that it isn't an end-all be-all when it comes to Google. There are other places where people go to to get information about your reviews, and there are other sites and sources that pull reviews that are not from Google. What do I mean by this? What I mean is that your Apple Business Connect place card, that's what controls your Apple Maps listing, pulls reviews from Yelp. 
Then you have your Bing listing, which is your Bing places for business listing. And it pulls reviews from Yelp and from Facebook. So you want to, of course, focus your energies on collecting reviews on Google, but also consider the fact that you want to collect them from a few other locations. And again, those include Yelp, Facebook, and there might be some other specific industry review sites that you might want to consider. So as you go out and collect your reviews, make sure that you're not directing every single person to Google and that you're spreading out the online love and collecting some of the reviews in other locations as well. Are you a chiropractor, physical therapist, acupuncturist, wellness practitioner, or other clinic owner looking to attract more patients and grow your healthcare practice? Welcome to the Clinic Marketing Podcast. Together, we'll explore topics like SEO, local search engine optimization, website design, social media marketing, content creation, helpful marketing tools, AI, and more. You'll learn how to effectively leverage these tools to increase your online visibility, engage with your target audience, and ultimately drive more traffic to your practice. From understanding the latest marketing trends to implementing best practices, we'll break down complex concepts into easy-to-understand nuggets of wisdom. You'll get practical tips to help you stay ahead of the curve and outshine your competition. Get ready to unlock the secrets of successful clinic marketing. Together, let's propel your practice.